Welcome back to Alistair Davis Golf. Today's video is all about shot shaping and how we can shot shape without changing your plane. Now, this video is particularly passionate to me because I get a lot of my good players to shot shape along the golf course. And what I don't want to see them doing is manipulating swing plane changes to change the ball flight. I want them to have one swing, one unique swing to them, and then change our setup to change the ball flight. So I'm gonna talk you through how we do that now. So, as we said, we're going to talk about fading the ball, particularly today in today's video, and then you can take the same formula to a draw. So basically, I've got um, some alignment sticks down here just to show that this would be a square, normal setup, okay? And we'd have our unique plane that we'd have in order to hit a straight shot or attempt to hit a straight shot every single time. Now, what I'm going to do today is try and change the setup to change the ball flight without changing that plane. So I want the same backswing plane, the same downswing plane every single time, but we're going to manipulate the setup to change the ball flight. So, let's talk fade. So if I was gonna hit a fade now, and say I wanted to hit a moderate fade, I am now gonna make sure everything now aims left. And let's just give you a target from here. If we look at this T marker in front of us here, if I say I'm gonna aim over the top of that T marker, and I'm gonna hit a fade shot over there. So if I move these to the left, like so, stand myself square now, so I'm aiming towards that T marker. That would be a neutral swing position, and again, a neutral swing plane, everything to hit a straight shot over that T marker. The only thing I'm going to change there is that address. I'm going to rotate the club head to the right, two to three degrees, and leave it there. Then I'm going to retake my grip. So my grip now is on a weak position on the handle as I would look at it, but in a neutral position in regards to my body. So this is presetting that club face in an open position. I am then going to produce my normal goal swing on the ball, whether I cut across the ball, hit it from the inside, whatever I would do normal, with the view to be that the ball will start right of where I'm swinging and curve left to right from where I'm swinging. So this ball would move left to right and ideally finish somewhere around target. If anything, and from a player's point of view and a coach's point of view, I'd want it probably to finish on target or left to target with the fade, on target or right to target with the draw. So we never cross that target line. Let's just go through that system again. So stand square, open the club face a few degrees, retake my grip. I'm going to do my normal goal swing. Okay, so the key with this is we try and take the right side of the course out of play. We're going to set up in a way so we never cross that target line and anything down the left hand side is seen as success. If it fades onto target, fantastic. Draw will be the same. So what we're doing is changing our setup every single time to change the ball flight and having one swing that is unique and individual to yourself, rather than having different swings for different shots, which gives us a variety of results and also changes the distance the ball goes quite dramatically too. If I try and manipulate a fade, I'm gonna lose a lot of distance, which we don't want to do. We wanna hit a similar distance. If we're realistic, we're gonna probably lose two to three to four yards with a fade and gain two to three to four yards with a draw, doing it this way. But it's not significant, this small amount of change. So have a go at this, post questions down below, comments down below also, and requests for any videos down below also. Please also, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. I really appreciate it if you can do that. It really helps my channel grow. And also, if you haven't subscribed already, hit my logo down this bottom corner, and I'll make sure I get you on board for the journey, and hopefully we can help lower your scores. Thanks for watching, and see you again here soon.